All right, so I am excited that it is our last day of the 12 days of trauma release. A few things. Number one, I have a workshop for the end of the year workshop, an intention setting workshop that is coming. It is only for my membership. And so if you want to be a part of that workshop, um, and it's pre-recorded, so you can watch it anytime. Go and check out my membership down below. You can sign up right now. It's only 15 bucks for the first three months. So that's one payment of $15 for three months. Uh, and then as far as um, my courses, I do have my 75 self-love challenge. It's actually included in the membership. And then my um, yoga for complete fat beginners, also included in the membership. And you also get new flows, tarot card readings, a lot of other things. So if you are like on the fence and you're like, I would rather just do that, do it because you get three whole months and you can do any of the courses um, for those three months. So check it out. And then um, I have my retreats. So if you are wanting to sign up for a retreat, I have Costa Rica in April. I have uh, Yellowstone in July. There's only two spots left for each of those. And then I have Bali, which I have like eight more spots left for Bali. So exciting. So much good stuff uh, coming for 2023. And then I also have a survey so uh, we can figure out where we want to go to next. So if you are wanting to go on one of my retreats and you're like, I want to go someplace else, I'm thinking Ireland, uh, ba not Bali, um, Ireland, Thailand, or Italy. So what do you think? So if you want to give your opinion, go fill out the survey. There's no obligation to sign up or anything like that. All right. So if you haven't subscribed, hit that notification bell, uh, dropped a comment yet, make sure you do that. Okay. Let's jump into it. Today is the piece de resistance pigeon. All right, so we are working with pigeon today and I wanted to show you a few different options in case you're like, my knees could never, right? So the first option is uh, for you to sit in, be sitting in a chair and just kind of pulling your hips a little bit more forward in the chair. And let me just kind of show you what I mean by that. We're gonna do a little back and forth just to get ourselves set up. So like I said, this video will be a little bit longer because I wanna show you all the options. So, so this would be like my, my back is flat, so scooching up, it gives my legs a little bit more, um, I wanna say flatness, but like more grounding. Um, but you see how my knee is kind of going down, so to kind of correct that, I'll bring my block under my foot, and I'm 5'9", so like, if you are shorter than 5'9", you probably need this block trick. And keep in mind, like, you can have your block on your side, you can have the block tall, right? So lots of options. You can kind of see how that impacts me. My knee ends up coming like way up, which is fine, but some people don't have that flexibility. And so if you need to start from the ground, this is a really great place to start. We lift up the chest and we let our knee open up to the side. So this is a great place to start if you're working on pigeon, because not everybody can bring your leg and cross it to the knee. So if you're there, that's where you're at. Like it's okay to be in that place. And I just wanna show it facing forward just so you have um, a better visual because I know I'm a visual person and so seeing it can really help and angles are important. So this is the angle we're working with. So allowing yourself to just kind of open up the hip and if your hip doesn't even wanna come to the block, this is where we're at, okay? If you're like, I don't feel anything, then you definitely need to get a book, um, a stool, something to prop up your foot and begin to open it up this way. Because if you don't feel this and then lean forward, you should feel this on the outer hip. This is just to kind of warm up your hip uh, muscles, get that mobility going. And then once you're here, you should definitely be feeling it on that outer hip area. So making sure you do both sides. Okay. I'm not going to be like going through a routine with both sides, but just to kind of give you an idea of where we're at. So that's the seated version of pigeon posture. You could also, I mean, I love doing pigeon, like not everybody can get down to the ground and they need more. 
So if you want to take this where you want to cross your leg like this, and then bring your hands to the back of a chair, and then lift up this back leg, move it back enough to where you feel pigeon this way. You should feel this on this front hip and this outer hip on this side. Um, this is an option as well. You just lean forward and uh, push into the seat of the chair to kind of come out of it. This is for somebody who wants something more but might not want to get down to the ground and has that flexibility in their knee. Um, there's something for everybody, right? And so if you're like, I want to be down on, on the ground, but I can't um, do pigeon on my belly, I want to do it on my back, then let's move into a figure four. So as we come onto our backs, oh, flat feet, maybe just kind of rock the hips a little bit, bent knees, and then plant one foot down, other foot crosses, flex this foot, and then maybe open up that hip. If you want a deeper feeling in this, then maybe you do it on a wall. Okay, so lots and lots of options here. You could even put some support underneath your hips um, to even create this this momentum happening, like if you wanted to bring this leg closer. So that's another option. I'm just giving you a few different options because I want you to be feeling this. The whole goal of yoga is to feel. It doesn't necessarily mean that you need to look a certain way in a yoga posture. I mean, yeah, it's nice to be able to do that, but not everybody can. And I don't think that it's fair for me to just show one version, especially a pigeon. There's so many options. So let's come up and get ourselves set up. I got two blocks in front of me, bolsters right here. And what, where we'll start is in kind of a narrow lunge and then healing, heel toe my foot over, my left foot over to the right and then leaning forward so that my hands can come to my blocks or to the ground, my knee comes to the ground and this bolster is underneath my hips. You can use a pillow or something like that. Lift up this back foot and press it into the ground, lifting up the knee and set the hip down, untuck. Okay, that should really light up this. Bring your blocks a little closer to you and then feel this stretch. It's almost like a little back bend. Press into the top of the foot and look up. You should feel that deep stretch. And then on that next exhale, I want you to bring your forearms to your block and see how that feels. If that doesn't feel good, press your hands into the block. This might be where you're at, friends. And if you um, don't have blocks, stool, books, something like that, you want to give yourself a prop underneath your hands here. So once you find it, take a deep inhale and an exhale. You should feel this on this outer hip area a lot, a lot, a lot. Relax your jaw, your face. We like to hold tension there. So just allow yourself to just kind of be. And also keep in mind, like, you're doing the version of pigeon that we discussed earlier. So if you are in that rock hipping, hip rocking chair version, awesome. If you are in the um, uh, crossing the leg over on your back version, awesome. If you're, you know, wanting to do like a standing pigeon with the chair as support, awesome. So wherever you're at, like, awesome, like do that. If you're trying this and it's like, this doesn't feel good on my knee or some sort of pinching, painting thing is happening, then back out and go somewhere else. And as we come into this posture and really feel into it, maybe we push into the belly where it meets the thigh, adjust that beautiful belly. And maybe we come down a little bit more so we adjust our blocks so that they come down to the next level setting. If we come down and it doesn't feel good, you can always go back. That is always an option. Think about that right hip really digging into the mat and then our, our hips being as level as they can. Relax your head, relax your chin, your jaw, all of the places in your face. Really allow yourself to just be here. Be present, just notice how this is feeling. This is very deep for me. I don't think I'll be able to put 
elbows on the ground or go any deeper. But if you feel like you want to go there, then go there. Allow yourself to just remove the blocks or maybe go on to the lowest setting. As we're here, we breathe. We find that ujjayi breath. This breath is like a magical power for a yoga person. We're able to get through a lot of things with this breath. We can get through hard postures. We can get through moments where we want to scream and yell and curse and like have that reaction. If we can come to our breath instead of having a reaction, imagine what a better place this world would be. <laughs> we don't need to be screaming and yelling and like being not happy. We are allowed to breathe and just feel into our bodies and have that peace that's within ourselves. And then next exhale, let's go ahead and lift up that chest and lean over to the left. Oh. So however you come out of this is good. Go ahead and extend your the leg that was bent and just kind of move to the left, to the right, let yourself uh. Okay, so we did one side. <laughs> Let's do the other side. Get ourselves set up in that narrow lunge or we move a block, we do whatever we need to do to get ourselves set up for the other side. So take your time to get there, plant your knee down, Bring your other leg forward and then heel toe. So right leg is forward, heel toeing over to the left and then leaning into the mat and I'm using my blocks of support. I'm going to adjust this back knee. So untuck, lift up, set down. And this side of my leg is much tighter than the other side much much tighter I think it has to do with my knee so lifting up maybe looking up pressing the top of the foot into the mat feeling that stretch and extension all the way out through the back body and then maybe bringing our forearms to our blocks and then just kind of playing with this a little bit and then once we're here we want our chest lifted maybe we look forward and then maybe tuck our chin down so we'll just be here, breathing, finding that ujjayi breath. And as we find pigeon, I want you to think, I am open, I am safe, I am okay, I am here to process, I am here to feel feelings. I'm here to let go. It's okay to do this. It's okay to explore. It's okay to feel. I am safe. I am safe to feel my feelings here. Nobody else is here. It's just me and you. I am safe. I am okay. Everything is okay. here for as long as you may need. If you're ready, go ahead and come out, lift up the chest, lean over to the right, and then swing around that left leg. And whenever you're ready, extend the right leg and give it a little shake, shake, shake a -roo. And then let's find a comfortable seated position and finish out our practice. Hey friends, I can't believe we did it. We did it. 
12 days from our lease. I hope that you found something in each of these classes that felt good, good enough for you to explore a little bit deeper. I want you to bring your hands to heart center, tuck your chin and just thank yourself for showing up today and being a part of this practice and understanding that this is hard, hard, deep internal work and that you are worthy enough to do this work. Bring your thumbs to third eye, the divine light within me honors the divine light within you. Thank you for practicing with me today. <laughs> All right, friends, I appreciate you more than you know. Make sure you hit the notification bell, like this video, subscribe, and um, leave a comment. Tell me how you felt during this practice. Be sure to check out my sales that are going on right now, like my membership, grab it for 15 bucks. And then um, I also have my retreats. So keep up a spot on my retreats. There's only a few spots left in each. I love you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.